Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install Eclipse for PHP on Linux. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Firefox, you can use any browser. Here and type Eclipse. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it, eclipse.org. Here it is. Now on reaching uh, the official website, here in the download button is visible on the right, click on it. On clicking, the Eclipse version is visible, here it is. So Eclipse comes pre-installed with Java, so we don't need to install it separately. Click on download. This will download the file for Linux in the following format tar.gz that is compressed file click download now the download will start here it is it started it's only 99 MB let's wait completed 99 MB right click and click show in folder now you can see the compressed file is visible I'll right click and extract here we extracted it. Now we can remove this file. Move to trash. We have our Eclipse installation. Double click on it. Open it. Eclipse installer is visible. This is what we wanted. Double click. And herein you can see the Eclipse, the Eclipse installer is visible. Now right click and click open in terminal. Herein type dot slash eclipse hyphen inst for installation press enter now this will begin the installation minimize rest of the things now here is the section visible for php developers we will be clicking here ok let's click now here you can see Eclipse ID is visible. It automatically took the Java version. Okay, you can click here and go for the current version 19.0.2 and it will install Eclipse under the following location which is fine. It will also create a start menu and a desktop shortcut. Click install. Now accept the license agreement. Click accept now. Now the installation started. Let's wait. Guys, you can see we successfully installed Eclipse. Click launch to open it. Now we need to select a directory as workspace. So workspace is a place wherein all your project files and folders, plugins will get saved. So you can change the location from here, but I'll keep the same. And set this as the default. So that you don't need to set the workspace again and again for newer projects. Click launch. So guys, in this video we saw how we can easily download and install Eclipse 